Three games, three victories in pre-season, 17 goals scored, zero conceded. You must be really pleased with how the team's performed so far. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, it's important that the lads who have just come in um, get to know the lads and I think the performances that we've shown, you know, we have got goals in the team, uh, but you don't get carried away in pre-season. You know, it's great to keep clean sheets and it's great to score goals, but it's, you know, it's what happens on August the 5th that counts. Um, you know, it's going to be a tough, tough season, but we've, we, you know, we've prepared well. Uh, the games are coming thick and fast and, and lads are getting minutes into the into the body, so it's important that we, we learn from the mistakes that we're doing um, and continue the good form that we're showing. Uh, I think you've touched upon it there, um, talking about fitness, but what's the main priority in pre-season for you? Um, is it is it fitness? Is it that much sharpness or um, obviously goals? What's what's the main area for you? Well, it's about gelling the new lads into the team. That you know we've got a real good existing bunch of players, and, and it's gelling the new lads into that system that we're going to be playing. Um, it's about formations. It's about changing um, the, the 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 formation that we probably had last year, which which got us so far. Um, but we look at different options this year, and it's about it's about you know getting things right and and. and you know, there's been some sloppy things in, in pre-season, but that's that's pretty expected in, in two games. I thought today, you know, uh, you know, you look at the result and, and, the, and the opposition. You know, they finished second in the North East Counties last year and got the North Riding Cup. I think in the first half today, you know, a lot of teams would have found it hard to, to play against us because the football was was exceptional. You know, some of the some of the movements, some of the pace, some of the you know the decision making in the final third was was outstanding. Um, you know, but like you say, we go again, and it's going to be a tough game on Tuesday against Morpeth, and it's um, it's an opportunity game for lads to get some valuable minutes. And in terms of the new signings, um, we've got Ryan Hall, looks a really exciting prospect. People like Matthew Dixon, how do you feel like they're going to gel into the squad and do this season? Because they look already good prospects for the club. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't hopefully bring people in who we didn't think would would sort of um, bring something different to, to, to what we have. I think last year we, we you know we didn't have that blistering pace going forward where I think that the lads that we brought in with Jake Oral and, and Foley and, and Ryan have given us that little bit of an extra dimension going forward. Um, and, and Matty Dixon's played at a real good level. You can see that already in pre-season. You know he's very calm on the ball. His decision making is good. Um, but you look at Chandler. I think he's been excellent in, 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 the, in the games that we've had. So you know the, 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 the players that we've brought in have, have only added to the quality that was already at the dressing room. And it's three weeks today till the start of the new season. How excited are you for the whole challenge of the National League? Oh, massively. You know, like I said to the players and, and the management before, you know, to open the open the league season against Stockport County at home, it's only what dreams are made of. Um, you know, we, we were, I think, in the first division of the Northern League when Stockport were last in the Football League. So it just shows you the gulf um, of, of teams. Uh, sorry, the gulf in, in leagues four or five years ago, um, and to be named in the same same league as Stockport County, your Southport, your Darlington's, your York City's, you know, a lot of football league clubs. It's it's it shows you how far the clubs come in, in a short, such a short, short space of time.